Hey, this is Ethan here from Blender Guys, and today uh, we're going to be making realistic carpet in cycles. Uh, I've played around with a bunch of the settings and watched a couple tutorials on it, and think I've come up with a pretty good carpet, and I hope you enjoy it. So let's jump right in. We're at our default Blender scene here. We're going to just grab this cube and move it to the second layer, and then heading over to the second layer here. We will tab into edit mode, and with the top vertice selected, start extruding out about that much there. We'll go size shift Z, make it a little thinner here. Something like that. And then we're going to grab, rotate, size, and twist basically to get your uh, carpet strand shape. So we're going to model about half a dozen carpet strands and then using the particle system we'll put them onto your uh, your ground plane basically make it look like carpet. Uh, so we'll go and fast forward here and catch up with you after I finish this. Okay, now we're just going to go ahead and push smooth shading for each of these. And then we're going to start adding a material to them. Get the last one here. Okay, first let's add them to a new group. Press Ctrl G, name this group Carpet Strands. And we'll go ahead and I'll open up my node editor here. And we'll switch into the Cycles render engine. Go over to your materials, press use nodes, and I just used a simple diffuse and glossy um, and mixed it together. And I think that actually worked pretty good. So we're going to set the mix to 0.1 though so we don't get much glossy. And the glossy we do have is going to be very diffused because we'll set the roughness to 0.4. And we'll go ahead and select all these just to make it easier. Control L, materials. Now they've all got the same material. Basically linked them all. And we'll go ahead and unlink. Now that we've got the node set up on each one, we can unlink it just so we can uh, customize each one to how we like it. So I'll unlink about four of them here. And we're going to basically tweak the colors just a little bit to give it some variety. So if you look at, not all carpet, but some carpet will have just the different colored strands throughout the, throughout the carpet. Make, just make some of them darker and lighter. If you notice, I'm keeping the diffuse a little bit lighter and the glossy a little bit darker. Gives it a nice, nice tone to it. And just something like that. I think that'd be good. So now that we've got a new group here, we've got them all have a material. Let us go back to our first first layer here. We'll set the cursor shift S to center and we'll add in a plane. Just size your plane out a little bit. And let's select let's go back to our second layer. Let me name one of these carpet. And I'll go back to my first layer. Now I can select this and just add the carpet material straight to that. And now for the particle system. That's where the fun happens here. It's actually uh, most of the settings, just a little bit of tweaking will give you uh, give you your carpet. So let's name this carpet here. We'll keep this at emitter. I tried it on here and I was able to make it look okay, but you don't have as many settings if you don't if you turn it to hair, so just keep it at emitter. The very first thing we'll do is go down to display. Make sure it's at render and just turn it to 1. You're going to be having 300,000. And first time I forgot to turn it to, to the display to 1, it locked up my computer. So that's why I turn it to 1. 
We'll set the start and end time to 1, that way we get all our particles in there. Limit from faces, random. And there's a few bugs that you might run into, so I just click use modifier stack just to make sure. And under normal, under your velocity panel setting, change the normal to zero. If you don't, you'll have uh, carpet sticking out the bottom of your plane. So just make sure you do that. And then you'll go down to render, click group, and select your carpet strands. And you can see how that's looking here. It's, yeah, kind of a deep shag there. Let's turn the size down to 0.005. Now let's do some more. 0.009. Let's see. Yeah, that's probably about it. Let's keep it at that for now. We'll close that. We'll go up to physics, turn that to none. Close that. And finally, rotation. I'll check rotation. And turn the random up to 0.6. This will just lay out the strands everywhere, kind of like real carpet. You can play around with the phase. I think I just did a little bit of phase and then turned the random up to like 0.175 or something. And uh, that's pretty much all there is to it. The rotation is pretty much where you do it. I'll make sure this is on velocity here too. And we're pretty much ready for our render. Let me play with these settings just a little bit. Um, turn the phase down just a little bit more. Or the random, I'm sorry. And in the phase. That should be good there. Then we can place our camera here. Point control alt zero. We'll get our camera. And just something like that. Then I'm gonna go shift A at a another plane. We'll just make a quick backdrop with this. Sizing that out. Press control three tab in enter mode with this ground plane selected and just select these two side vertices farthest from the camera and just start extruding them gradually out like kind of like a sloping curve here and let's go into camera view see how that looks let's press smooth size it out a little bit X and let's give it a material I'm pretty sure I actually went with a emission just like at 0.75 that way it lights up nicely then we'll add a sun here now I tried a couple different lighting setups and just just for uh, checking out seeing how your carpet looks the best one was just a strong backlight so you just add a sun point it kinda towards the camera like that and that should be good So one more thing I'm going to do, I think my carpet strands are probably a little thick still. So I'm going to select the size shift Z, size them down a little bit, and I think we are ready to go. Let me make them just a little shorter too. Let's go down to your render and under the size, let's do 0.007. Yeah, yeah, .006. Okay, now I'm happy. Okay, now going to your render panel, I'll change this to GPU. I'll turn this up to 100%. I think I used 500 samples for my final picture. I'll just do 200 for this. And uh, one thing before we render, let's go and change the sun to about 5, I think. That would be good. Okay, let's also, one thing I like to do is extrude out the... Uh, carpet base just a little bit. That way it gives it a little bit of depth there. Uh, that ought to be good there. And I think I've probably got too many vertices, too many uh, carpet strands here. I'll just turn this down to 200. We can turn it back up if you want, but depending on the size of your plane here, it will change how much, how much you need. Uh, okay, final render. Let's go. Okay, here it is. I actually uh, think that looks pretty good, but you can play around with your particle settings or change your strands up a little bit to uh, 
get what you want. Um, let me know what you think of this video. Uh, if you make anything cool, I'd love to see it. Uh, until then, I'll see you next time.